Hello guys, this week we're going to be reading um, the story, Tomás Rivera, and for that we need to learn some new high frequency words so we are able to better understand our story. The first high frequency word we're going to work on, it's the high frequency word, work. W-O-R-K, work. Work is an action word um, or a verb that we use to tell when, that we are doing a job or that someone else is doing a job. People go to work every day. Our second high frequency word is great. Great is an adjective. That means that something is awesome. She did a great job baking this cake. Here you have it. Great. G-R-E-A-T. Great. Our third high frequency word is talk. Talk is also a verb or action word. Um, we use the high frequency word talk to say that we are speaking to someone or maybe a lot of people. He likes to talk with customers at his job. Talk, T-A-L-K, talk. Our fourth high frequency word is paper. Paper is a noun for a thing. Um, we use paper when we are writing, we use paper when we are drawing, um, your books are made out of paper, um, your notebooks are made out of paper. Here is our, an example, uh, our example sentence, this artist does his work on paper. Paper, P-A-P-E-R, paper. Where is our third, it's our fifth high frequency word. Where is also an action word that tells you that two or more people are at, are at a place. It is where we use it um, like this. The farmers were very busy today. Where? W-E-R-E, -E, where? Soon. Soon is a word that tells you that something is going to happen in a short period of time, in minutes, maybe in, in half an hour, soon. S-O-O-N, soon. Soon, it will be time to go to lunch. Our seventh high frequency word is laugh. Laugh, it's an action word or a verb too. We use the high frequency word laugh when we are talking about something that it's funny and make us laugh. For example, if someone tickles you, you laugh. If, so, if someone tells you a, a joke, you laugh. Laugh. <laughs> a silly clown makes everyone laugh. Done. We use the word done to tell other people that we are finished. He goes home when he, the work is done. Done. T-O-N-E. Done. So as I told you before, this week's story is called Tomás Rivera. The, illustra the illustrator is René King Moreno. He's the one that drew the pictures for this beautiful story. And the author... It's Jane Medina. Tomás Rivera was born in Texas. Tomás and his family went from place to place picking crops. Tomás helped pick crops all day. It was a lot of work. When the work was done, Tomás would talk to, with his grandpa. Come quick, grandpa called. It's time for stories. You tell the best stories, Tomás said. I wish I could tell great stories too. The next day, Grandpa said, We can get lots of stories for you, Tomás. When? asked Tomás. 
Quick, hop in, Grandpa said with a wink. I will show you. Grandpa drove the truck up the road. This is a library, said Grandpa. Look at all the books, gasped Tomas. Read all you can, Tomas. It will help you think of lots of stories, said Grandpa. There were lots of books for Tomas to read. Some were funny and made him laugh. He read about boats, trains, and cars. He dreamed of space. Soon, Tomas was thinking of his own stories. Tomas began telling his stories. Then he wrote them on paper. When he was grown up, Tomas got a job as a teacher, like Miss Natty, and Miss Bunny, and Miss Clary, and Miss Sandra, and Miss Bird. He, was, he still wrote stories. Tomás Rivera, stories tell about people picking crops, just as his family did. Lots of people read his books. Now his name is on a big library. Many people go to the library. They get books, just as Tomás did. Look at the library over here. The end.